Thanks for joining me. I'm going to show you how to use the gem set of the Fantasy Cupcake Toppers. This is set number two. We also have a set number one and some hearts and butterflies that I'll show you in another video. I'm just going to take one of the cutters. There's four in the set and different designs than set one, obviously. But this goes in the roller pad. This is a really essential tool to have for these types of tools, all the gem cutters. And this is a different cutter. You're not going to cut into the gum paste. You're going to actually roll the gum paste over the top of this. Three different types of gum paste that I like to use for the gem cutters. One is PME sugar paste right out of the box. Uh, number two is the satinized gum paste. I sometimes add a little Tylose powder to that if I have a lot of negative space or I need it a little bit stiffer. Or third, I use the Carrie Biggers gum paste recipe. She was kind enough to allow us to put that on our bulletin board of our recipes on our website. So let's go ahead and get this started. I've got a little bit of gum paste and I'm using the satinized with a little bit of Tylose powder. And I'm just going to spritz over away from my work space, a little bit of canola spray or vegetable spray, whatever you have, really, really light. Don't go heavy with this and you don't want to put it in the cutter. You want to spray it on the back of the gum paste, which is going to be touching the cutter itself. So I'll just put that into the cutter, press a little bit with my fingertips to get that embossment that's in that cutter that's really nice. And then I'm going to roll over and I'm going to go a couple of different ways when I roll over it because I want to make sure that I cut through the edges of this cutter. And you can go back with your ball tool and just re-emphasize that to make sure you're going to get a nice clean cut or just use your fingertips. So going all the way around there and this is really easy to pull off just like that. And then the other essential tool you need is the scriber needle. Nice tool that you have to just kind of pick the corners out. You're not going to make a big hole in them but just kind of touch it to pull it out and then you can use it to peel back and use your fingertips to kind of pull out the rest and you can see how pretty this is when it comes out. Now these can either lay flat on the cupcake, just take them directly out of the cutter and onto the cupcake, or you can dry them into shape like we've done here. You can also layer them. These look really nice layered as well. So I'll put this one on top of this one. And there you've got either a great cupcake topper on its own or a great embellishment to go on the side of a cake as well. So that's the Gem Cupcake Topper set number two, and I hope you have fun with it. Thanks for watching.